I prefer doing business with individuals, private lenders that I have taught the private lending program to. In fact, Carol Joy and I have got 44 private lenders right now funding our deals. And none of them, none of them had ever heard of private money, private lending. They had never heard about self-directed IRAs until we taught them. If you're a real estate investor and are wondering how to raise and leverage private money to make more profit on every deal, then you're in the right place. On Raising Private Money, we'll speak with new and seasoned investors to dissect their deals and extract the best tips and strategies to help you get the money, because the money comes first. Now here's your host, Jay Connor. Well, you cannot deny it. We are living right now in unprecedented times. Our post-COVID economy has seen rampant inflation in the wake of the sheer volume of money that was printed in just 2020. And I know you felt it. You have felt it at the grocery store, at the gas pump, your investments, and just about everywhere else you go. Well, joining me today to discuss this very hot topic and how private money is your solution to your real estate investing business is my good friend and mastermind and platinum member, Mark Gu. Mark has raised $800,000 in private money in just the past five months. My lands, he is a real estate transaction engineer. He's been full-time since 2014, but he just really got involved in this world of private money. He's done some of the biggest rehabs on distressed properties that most real estate investors walk away from. Thus, he improves neighborhoods and he turns that eyesore property into the one of the nicest houses in the area. So if you want to be in control of your real estate investing business and you want to get all the private money and funding that you would ever want for your deals, you do not want to miss one second of this episode. Put your seatbelt on and let's dive in right now. Well, Mark, what did your real estate investing business look like prior to you starting to use private money? And how's your business changed since you started using private money? Well, that's a great question, Jay. You know what? Actually, I had a very line, a uh, very nice line of credit, actually, with a lot of lenders in uh, my areas. But you know what? They just could not get the deals done fast enough uh, to my liking. And, you know, ever since I started getting private money and private lenders, you know what? My business has gone through the roof. It skyrocketed. How much would you say, I mean, how many X times has your business improved uh, since you started using private money? Wow. You know, I would say 15 to 20 times. Wow. I mean, uh, my phone is not stopping. My phone is ringing. I've got a lot of people that are reaching out as well that know about my program and they want to know more about it. And uh, everybody wants to get in, get in. You know, the uh, stock market right now is very volatile. And um, when I started, you know, teaching people how they could earn great rates of return, they really, they were like, wow, we never even knew we could do this this way. You know, Mark, I can relate to your experience so personally and so well. I remember it just like it was yesterday. You just mentioned you had lines of credit at the bank and they just weren't getting it done for you. Wow. I remember when I was relying on lines of credit myself to get my deals funded from actually when I started in 2003, the first six years from 2003 to 2009, that's all I had. I had, you know, a line of credit at the local bank for six years. They did all my funding. And you say your lines of credit or your bank was not getting it done. Not only was mine not getting it done, but they cut me off <laughs> I quit with no notice in 2009. So, you know, this world of private money actually was the biggest blessing that I've ever had in this business. In the first year that I started using private money, that year, from 2009 to 2010, mine and Carol Joy's business actually tripled. And, you know, back then, foreclosures were everywhere. Banks had stopped loaning money out to people. So you had to have the cash. You had to either have your own cash or you had to have private money. And, of course, we're not talking about hard money. I mean, my lands back then, 
I mean, even the hard money lenders had shut down, you know, like they did again during COVID. And, you know, speaking of COVID, I actually had more private money chasing me during COVID when that started than even before COVID coming along. So, you know, this world of private money just puts you in the driver's seat, puts you in control. And, you know, today I even have a problem of actually being able to put all the private money to work. So, you know, just to be sure our listener understands, you know, we're not talking hard money. We're not talking institutional money. We're talking about doing business with individuals that are funding our deals, getting high rates of return safely and securely. So, yeah, Mark, I can really, really relate uh, to what you're talking about. So, you know, you have been, what year did you start uh, investing in real estate? At the end of 2014. 2014. And when did you start using private money in your real estate business? Uh, probably about a year and a half ago. Okay. Gotcha. Year and a half, two years ago. So it's been uh, like pretty, like pretty recent that you started using it. So how did you get started in even using private money? Well, you know, I just got tired of these deals taking forever uh, to get funded. And sometimes you would even lose a deal based on that. So, um, you know, I intended your uh, boot camp and I was very amazed what happened. It all tied in so so beautifully together. And I'm saying to myself, this is exactly what I've been missing. You know, you can't get all these deals done fast enough. And uh, the banks are only going to go, but so fast there's hurdles. And, you know, this is just the normal process with the banks. So when I decided to go full fledged, total private money, my business has really, oh my God, it's amazing what has happened. It's what, just percentage, right what percentage of your deals that you do, would you say that you are using private money to fund the deal or part of the deal? Right now, 95%. 95%. It, it sounds like private money is pretty important to you and your business. Yep, very true. I might refinance a property uh, that I'm keeping, but primarily, you know, I'm doing all my uh, funding with private lenders. It's amazing. And, you know, it's great to be able to hand them that check and they've got a smile on their face. And you know that this is something they really truly appreciate as well. I mean, yeah. yeah. And you're speaking about your private lenders, right? Yes. Yeah. So speaking of your private lenders, where are you finding your private lenders? Who are they? Well, there are people just like you and I, regular, average, you know, walk of life people that you'll see anywhere and everywhere. I see them at the uh, the real estate meetings. I see them at meetup groups, uh, the Rotary Clubs, B&I meetings. Uh, they're there. And the funny thing is, you know, everybody knows what I do, you know, in real estate and they're actually approaching me and just saying, Hey, you know what? I know you're a busy guy. You always got, you know, several things going on at once. Can you use some capital right now? And I'm like, wow. You know, it, it's when people know what you do, then it all takes place. How much private money have you uh, raised so far? So far in a short period of time, uh, it's taken off recently uh, quite a bit, you know, but I would say it's got to be close to 1.2 million. 1.2 million. That is fantastic. So, you know, we were talking about where you find uh, these private lenders. As you said, they are people just like you, just like me. Yep. Um, my private lenders come from, like yours, come from three different categories, they're either people that I've already got a relationship with. Uh, I've got some kind of connection with them. Uh, the second category is what I call the expanded market. You know, some people tell me, they say, well, Jay, my, you know, my network is not that large. I don't know that many people. And so, you know, I teach people how to network, how to grow their network because the network directly correlates to someone's net worth, uh, getting involved in the community, rotary clubs, et cetera. And then the third category of private lenders are existing private lenders, individuals that are already loaning money out. But I actually prefer, and you used a really, really important word a, a few minutes ago, and that was the word teach. You teach your people in your network what private money is, and you teach them about your private lending program. But I prefer doing business with individuals, private lenders, 
that I have taught the private lending program to. In fact, Carol Joy and I have got 44 private lenders right now funding our deals. And none of them, none of them had ever heard of private money, private lending. They had never heard about self-directed IRAs until we taught them. So you've got about 1.2 million in private money that you're using right now, Mark. How many different private lenders is that comprised of? Right now, it's about 16. 16 private lenders. Yep. Good for you. Wow. I tell you what, you, you have put your private lending program on steroids. So, you know, like in my own personal market, uh, in my, uh, like these 44 private lenders in our warm market, these are people that we go to church with. These are friends. These are people that, you know, are at the Rotary Club. These are people in our own network that we have taught what private money is. And, you know, none of them had ever heard of private money. They'd never heard of self-directed IRAs until we taught them about it, right, and, and made this program available to them. So I got to ask you, Mark, how in the world did you feel how did you feel when you were able to like break through and finally realize that private money was the thing that you were missing in your business and start making more money per deal? You know, Jay, it's blown me away. It really has. You know, I mean, to be able to live your lifelong dream and know that you are helping great people in the process as well. That's what really, you know, puts smiles on everybody's faces, truly. You know, and kind of like you said, you know what? Um, it starts with building your networking. It's family. It's friends. And just a couple of weeks ago, I was going for a physical at a, uh, at a doctor's office, you know, cause I'm having a surgery on my wrist. And the next thing, you know, you know, he's like, what do you do for work? And I'm like, well, I'm a real estate investor. And I actually teach people how to earn very high rates of return on their investment capital. And he's like, well, wow, how is the real estate market going right now? And I'm like, well, for the way I buy properties. Okay. Um, it go, it's going very beautifully. I mean, the, the, the deals are plentiful. And I said, you know what? I need more money just to fund all these deals. And I've got a lot of lenders right now, but everybody wants to get in on the action. They didn't even know that it could be done in such a way. Exactly. Well, Mark, I know uh, we've got a listener that, that wants to know in detail how in the world to get this private money. So uh, let's give away a gift right now. I'm so excited about this brand new private money guide that I just recently finished writing. And it's called Seven Reasons Why Private Money Will Skyrocket Your Real Estate Business and Help You Build Incredible Wealth. It's downloadable. It's free. It'll put you on the fast track to getting private money. You can download it for free at www.jayconner, that's J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash money guide. That's jayconner, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash money guide. Mark, have you ever borrowed hard money prior to doing private money? Yes, I sure have. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, but you know what? I still got the deal done, but uh, I wasn't able to help out my good friends who became private lenders. And it just went to the big institutions and banks. Right. It's almost so, kind of like working for corporate America. You're putting the money in, uh, you know, the big boss's hands, not your own. Exactly. So let's talk about the differences, and there's a long list. But from your own experience, you've borrowed hard money, and now you don't borrow hard money. You're using private money on funding your deals. And of course, you know, when, let's answer this question when do you use private money? It's simple. You use private money to fund your deals when the seller requires all the cash for you to buy the deal. And Mark, you and I know in the real world, the majority of sellers require all the cash. In fact, you know, I'm a good negotiator, but after reviewing thousands of property lead sheets, my statistics show that only 13% of the for sale by owners will sell to me creatively, i.e. with seller financing on a wrap uh, subject to the existing note. The, the other 87% of those for sale by owners 
require all the cash. Of course, any property that's in the multiple listing service, you got to pay all cash. If it's a short sale, you got to pay cash. If it's uh, the auction, uh, you know, you got to pay cash. If it's a foreclosure that is being sold at the courthouse steps, you got to pay all cash. So in the real world, the majority of the deals require all the cash. So back to what uh, we were going to talk about, Mark, next, and that is the differences between hard money and private money. The list is long, but from your own experience, what comes to mind as to the differences between hard money and private money and why you like private money better? Well, I like private money better because I'm able to help my friends and family and associates, church ministers, uh, anybody that wants to be a private lender. And, you know, being able to help them is what's going to make me happy. But at the same time, the availability of the cash quickly is what's going to get the deal done. And not only is it going to get it done quicker, but it's going to get it done potentially at a lower sale price because they want to move fast. And that profit that I could make actually, you know what, that's how I'm able to pay such great high rates of return safely and securely to my private lenders. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, um, some other, some other differences that come to my mind is first of all, in the world of private money, it's your program, right? It's not like the hard money lender makes the rules right? Exactly. The hard money lender determines the interest rate, which by the way, I just recently checked with one of my friends. that's a hard money lender. Good night alive. And he's normally like one of the lower interest rates on the street. He's up to 12%. The national average now is over 14% and they're charging much, much larger down payments. You know, in this world of private money, um, I'm still paying my private lenders 8%, 8%. And, you know, I, I, another big reason I love private money is we always bring home a big check. I mean, private money in, in one respect actually are no down payment deals because we don't have to bring any of our own money to the closing table. We always get a big check when we buy. I mean, who wants to get paid, right, to buy houses? We always borrow more than we need to buy the house because we're buying them at discounted uh, prices. Your credit score has got nothing to do with how much private money you can get. A hard money lender, of course, is going to uh, pull your credit. And you mentioned it a moment ago, uh, Mark, and that is fast cash, fast closings. You're actually able to close quicker than you can through a hard money lender. I mean, the hard money lender, if you're going to borrow that money and pay that crazy interest rate and points, of course, in this world of private money, there are no points. There are no origination fees. And, you know, again, it just puts you in control of your business. Um, another thing is there's no limit to the number of private lenders we can have. There's no limit to the amount of private money we can have available. You know, when I was relying on the banks, um, they, I had a limit. I only had a million dollars line of credit. And when that million dollars was used up, which in this world, you know, at a medium price of $300,000, it doesn't take long to go through a million dollars investing in houses. But in this world of private money, no limit to the number of private lenders we can have, no limit to the amount of private money that we can use. Now, Mark, one thing you've said two or three times, and since you've said it two or three times, it must be really, really important to you on your heart, top of mind. And that is you have mentioned multiple times about how you're able to help out your private lenders. Um, in my words, it's a win-win. So, Explain, how is it that this is a win-win proposition? How is this a win-win scenario? How is it that you're able to help out people in your network by them being your private lenders? Well, first off, Jay, they're going to make a lot of cash. And, you know, that's that's very important to a lot of people, obviously. Uh, number two, you know, they are going to have a secure and safe asset. You know, we use attorneys to do all our deals. They are getting uh, a mortgage on the property, the deed. They are with the, they are listed on the insurance policy and they are on the title policy as well. So that's what's key. Yeah. So you're not borrowing like myself, you're not borrowing unsecured money. You are backing their note with uh, either a deed of trust or mortgage. Which do you use in Connecticut? We use a mortgage. 
you use a mortgage. Most people call it a mortgage. You're in North Carolina. Uh, the, the actual legal document is a deed of trust. But in either case, yep. those documents are what collateralize that note. And, you know, one question that I get often from new real estate investors is they'll say, well, Jay, who's going to loan me money and I've never done a deal? And here's the, and that's a good question. That's a valid question. And the answer to that question is, if you, as the borrower, if you don't pay the private lender, the property does. And what that means is, since you are giving your private lenders a mortgage and collateralizing their note, if for some reason you don't pay them, well, then they get the property, their profit, the money they would make is actually more than the interest rate that you would be paying them. And so again, I mean, comparing the private lending program to the stock market, this is a whole lot uh, safer and uh, reliable, and they know what the rate of return is going to be than investing in a mutual fund or a stock because the only security they got, and they call stocks a security, the only security they got is a piece of paper, which is called a stock certificate. And you know, a, another a big reason that our private lenders like yours, Mark, absolutely love our private lending program is that they don't have to worry about their investment losing any value. So contrasting to the stock market, you know, when, a, when someone invests in the stock market, they already lost money because there's fees, there's commissions. In your private lending program, like mine, there's no fees, there's no commissions. Your private lender knows exactly what the rate of return is going to be, and they don't have to worry about any kind of uh, devaluation, losing any kind of money, uh, because in our program, the private lender's investment, their principal loan amount remains the same. And then they know exactly what their rate of return is going to be. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, they get all their principal back when we sell the property or we cash out. And then we put their money back to work for them, you know, just as soon as possible. Um, as we mentioned, the list is long as to why we love private money. Mark, if you could only choose your top number one reason, your most favorite reason for using private money, what would that number one favorite reason be? Well, it's got to be the fact that we could do multiple deals at once while we're also helping those private lenders, you know, earn a great rate of return on their capital. Yeah, me too. And you know, actually, we mentioned interest rates a moment ago. Having access to the capital is actually more important than the interest rate that you pay. Just having the access. And you know, just I mean, Mark, were you more when you when you first had private money available to you to use, did you find yourself more confident in making offers? Did you find yourself making more offers? since you had like that money burning a hole in your pocket? Yep, absolutely. And it's kind of funny that you ask that because you know what, you know, my phone yesterday rang and I had two people selling properties right away. They're ready to go. <laughs> they <laughs> want to know if I had interest and I'm actually going to look at those properties tomorrow. I love it. I love it. So I know one really, really burning question that, um, that people have uh, when they have not used private money before. And that is, well, how do you start a conversation? What does that conversation sound like when you are first talking to a potential private lender that has never heard about private money? They don't know what private money is and all that. How does that conversation go? And how do you even start a conversation? Well, you know, I just have that conversation with them and I have that and I'm like, did you know that you can earn unlimited returns, high rates of return safely and securely. And they're just amazed when I go through my program with them, you know, that, that interest that they make is unbelievable. It's going to be something higher. They're going to earn anywhere else. You can't get that in the bank, not on a CD, not anywhere. You know, Mark, one of my favorite uh, three words to start a question with is what you just said. And that's the three words, did you know? Did you There's, know? And of course, you got to know what your private lending program is that you're going to teach people. Uh, you know, what interest rate are you going to offer? What's the length of the note? How they can get their money back in case of an emergency? And, you know, if you're interested in knowing exactly the private lending program that we teach 
to our potential private lenders that don't know anything about it in the private money guide that I just told you about seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate business uh, that you can download at jayconnor.com forward slash money guide. Uh, that goes into the exact program that we teach to our potential private lenders. And as you said, Mark, it ends up being, and it always is a, a win-win. And you know what? There is, prior to COVID, there was $18 trillion available that could be used for private money, cash that was sitting on the sidelines that was not invested. On this side of COVID, at least as of two months ago, Quest, and that's the self-directed IRA company that we use out of Houston, Texas, where we have private lenders that have retirement funds that they want to use to fund our deals. Uh, Quest told me two months ago that now there's $31 trillion, $31 trillion in cash that's able to be used, you know, for private money. So, you know, Mark, I don't know if you got the same problem I do. I'll ask you. I've got more private money available to me right now than I can actually invest in my local market. How about you? You know what, Jay? It's definitely uh, picking up more and more every day, to be honest with you. I've always got tons of projects going on. So, you know, with the private lending, some people have a good chunk of money, which is more for the purchase price of the property. Other people may have a little bit, you know, not a little bit, but uh, smaller amounts, which are typically used for the rehab. So some people may have 30, 50,000, 75,000, which may be the rehab. Other people have the, you know, the purchase price of the house. So that's a beautiful thing right there. And some people have it all. Right. You know, um, there's all kinds of ways that we teach people about this private lending program to where they're chasing us uh, to lend us money. Uh, we can have one-on-one -on -one conversations. Uh, we can invite people to a Zoom and teach them the program. We hold, you know, private money luncheons. We have private money events where we have people come and we teach them. Mark, you know, you've already raised uh, $1.2 million in private money in a short period of time. What is your most effective method in getting the private money to chase you? Letting everybody know what my program is, Jay. They already know I'm super busy. I usually have three projects going on at once. And you know what? We got to move the project along. So they know the money's going to be put to use. It's going into the rehab and we're moving things fast. So, so they, how, how do you let everybody know? You say you let everybody know, but what's the specifics of that? How do you let them know? Well, I uh, give them my contact info. That's the first thing I do, how they could get a hold of me. And, uh, you know, again, I see them at the RIA meetings. I, it's family, it's friends, it's doctors, financial planners, and all these people, you know, once I let them know what my program is, they're, uh, they want to know more. Absolutely. You know, since most wholesalers and rehabbers know that they could put a house under contract with no money, what was it that made you choose to go the private money route? What inspired you to like gravitate towards using private money? To get these deals done faster, you know, to be able to, you know, get multiple deals at one time. Because again, the banks are not lending, you know, uh, on multiple deals at times. And, you know, I would rather build the relationship with these private lenders than I would be giving the money to the banks because, you know, the private lender in essence becomes the bank. Absolutely. And that's right. I mean, that brings up a good point. These private lenders that we do business with, uh, they do not own the property. Your entity owns the property yep. and the private lender acts in the, as you just said, acts in the same capacity as a bank and they get the same protection as the bank. You know, you mentioned a moment ago, they get the mortgage that collateralizes the note. They are named on the insurance policy as the mortgagee. So if there's any claims uh, filed, with the insurance company, then actually the check is written by the insurance company to the private lender and to your company. They got to sign up on that check. They're named on the title policy as, you know, an additional insured. And so, you know, they're well, well protected uh, all the way around, just like a bank would be. Mark, you have really got a, an amazing track record. You're a super successful real estate investor and entrepreneur. 
And there just may be a listener or more than one listener that would like to learn more about your program and would love to do business with you and would like to earn high rates of return safely and securely since the market is so volatile today. You know, my lands, even with interest rates going up, I just checked last week, the national yield on a one-year certificate or deposit at the local bank is still less than 1%, 0.97%. So Mark, if you would give out your contact information, your website, et cetera, as to how someone could get in contact with you and start earning these high rates of return safely and securely. Yeah, well, definitely, Jay. I appreciate you, number one, asking me to be on the podcast. And, uh, you know, I'm very uh, thrilled to be here. So my phone number, you could get a hold of me and reach me at 203 203- Four six four three six eight two, and my email address is mister dot flip dot usa at gmail dot com. Excellent. So again, um, you can and, and and actually, Mark answers the phone when you call him. So you can dial Mark directly at area code two zero three four six four. 3682. That's 203 464 3682. And his direct Gmail is mr.flip.usa at gmail.com. Again, that's mr.flip.usa at gmail.com. Mark, what an inspiration you are. Thank you so much for joining me on the uh, show today. Well, thank you very much for having me, Jay. And, uh, you know, I appreciate you as a friend and a mentor, and I've learned a lot from you. And, you know, the way you did your program is exactly the way I do my program. So, you know, you've got 44 private lenders. I'm going to get up there real soon. People know that I'm busy and we're always buying property. So, you know, if they want to earn those high rates of return safely and securely, they know who to call. You got it, Mark. Thank you again. Well, there you have it, my friend, another episode of Raising Private Money. I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority, and I need your help. Think of someone that you know that would really benefit from listening to this show and be sure and share it. Also, if you happen to be listening on iTunes in the upper right-hand corner, those three little dots, be sure and click on that and follow, follow me so you don't miss out on any upcoming episodes. And uh, if you happen to be uh, watching and listening on YouTube, be sure and hit that bell and subscribe so you don't miss out. So be sure and join us again right here on the next Raising Private Money. Are you feeling inspired by the knowledge you gained in this episode? Then head over to jconner.com slash money guide. That's jconner.com slash money guide and download your free guide that shares seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate investing business right now. Again, that's jconnor.com slash money guide to get your free guide. We'll see you next time on Raising Private Money with Jay Connor.